the training covers um, mainly um, laboratory procedures um, in the identification of bacterial and viral mi- microorganisms that is uh, that causes um, foodborne diseases. Um, what the training will do is so uh, look at um, ways to do early detection in um, utilizing epidemiological surveillance procedures um, and sampling techniques um, in terms of the identification of foodborne disease etiologies. Who is taking part in this training and uh, how will it benefit uh, the general public? The, the training um, includes um, laboratory techniques from the Western Health Region, um, Central Medical Lab, um, San Ignacio Laboratory, um, Belize Agricultural Health Authority, that's specifically the food um, safety lab, and La Loma Luz Hospital. And what the training um, will do is to enhance these technology skills in terms of um, better identification of these microbes that could assist clinicians in terms of case management and that would enhance the type of care and treatment given to patients within the the public health facilities and private health facilities. Also, the training will assist us to um, decrease or identify etiology that that is causing um, these foodborne-related illness um, and it would help us to identify the communities being affected and to develop strategies and programs in terms of in health education and programs that would assist us in terms of decreasing the burden of illness within these um, specific communities. So we would be able to develop materials to do health education. We would be able to um, enhance surveillance in terms of um, educating the community in submitting fecal specimen when they have diarrhea so that we can identify etiology and treat um, correctly at these health facilities. Mr. Emmanuel, is this a part of the ongoing professional development uh, that is being carried out by the ministry? Yes, indeed. It's it's the ongoing professional development um, in terms of improving our response, um, in terms of improving um, population health. And how many people are currently taking part in the training? Eight laboratory technologists presently doing the training. And will they be certified at the end? Yes, actually, they will be receiving um, a certificate acknowledging um, that they had received the training mm-hmm. and they are certified in doing um, microbiology, specifically for foodborne disease and etiology um, identification.